Welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode, and it's time to get started with tech mods today. We're going to be getting into uh, nuclear craft a little bit just to get our first alloy smelter, and the, sh the shadows are still driving me demented. If anyone really doesn't know how that's actually happening, I would love to know. Um, anyway, moving on, tech mods. Yes, so we need to get some lead plate sorted out, and we need to get some graphite. Graphite's easy, just throw some coal in a smelter again, and it'll give you this stuff, which you can combine into graphite blocks, and that's exactly what we're going to use. Basically it's just carbon and we're going to combine the graphite blocks with lead plate then we need to make lead plate which we've got some here i've already made it with the smeltery and we're going to be able to make a lead sheet metal with that which is one of the ingredients and then we're going to be heading for an alloy furnace first i think so that lead sheet metal along with some lead item casing uh, should be everything we need for the alloy furnace alloy furnace is the way to get to electrical steel and that is a way to a uh, bit well i'll show you what I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second. Uh, let's just get uh, some of you made up. So uh, just four of you should get us started. Yeah, and we'll have another batch because we're probably going to make. <clears throat> excuse me, we're probably going to make the manufacturing as well. Why not? Uh, as this is going to be heading us towards universal cable. So uh, with all of that in place, we got uh, four basic plating, which is good because we need that for the alloy furnace, uh, which means I need the rest. So I need a couple of bricks, some redstone, a furnace, and a copper solenoid. And the copper solenoid needs a few things. It needs a mixed metal lingot. It needs an aluminium rod. And that's pretty much it. I've got everything else in my inventory. Uh, aluminium rod is weird because it's aluminium plate plus a piston plus block of redstone. Not quite sure how that makes a rod. Um, you know, there are there are strange recipes. We can, of course, make metal presses with immersive engineering, uh, and we can make a small plate presser from uh, advanced rocketry, but hey, this is just a crafting recipe, so I think we already have a piston or two around. Uh, I would have thought I had pistons. Yep, there's pistons. And redstone blocks will be really quite straightforward over here. Oh, I also made more sieves between the episodes. I made up to nine sieves because we're going to have a three by three array. I also made up some stiffened meshes. One thing to note though is that you may sometimes want the iron versions. I've not made them into iron yet, but the flint will go to iron next. It goes from string to flint to iron to diamond. The flint will go to iron next, and when that happens, uh, you'll get a decent mesh to use. You don't necessarily need to go to diamond. Uh, from iron. It depends on what you want out of your sieves. If you want more common resources like iron and copper and stuff like that, you want to stay with iron. If you want more rare resources like diamond emeralds, you want to go with diamond. Um, you will still get the common resources, but you can cut the common resources um, sort of drop chance in half if you go to diamonds. It depends what you're actually going to. We'll get onto that a little bit later. Uh, for now, I just want some redstone, don't I? So let's just grab some redstone. Let's make those up into blocks and then, <clears throat> excuse me, up into aluminium rods. Excuse me, my throat's terrible today. Okay, so that should get us an aluminium rod. So let's just get that aluminium rod. Yeah, and let's just... Oh, mm. I need to add that as a favourite. Uh, we can make three. Let's just make three. I'm sure they'll come in useful. And what else are they actually used for? Uh, not much apart from these copper solenoids, it seems. Or at least not much I'm going to be using them for. Mixed metal lingots are straightforward. Iron plates, bronze plates, and tin plates. Uh, I may need to just grab some of those. A couple of bricks are going to be needed. So I'm going to need to dump a few of this, well, a few bits and pieces of stuff into here uh, let me just grab the clay bricks out and is that pretty much it the iron plates will grab uh, bronze i may be short of i uh, may not have any bronze plates do i have any bronze plates no but i can make some with tin so that's no big deal one second i'm gonna make some bronze plates bronze plates got and that should be everything we need to construct this stuff so let's get that down so mixed metal ingot it's probably going to be first so yep copper solenoid mixed metal ingot uh, we'll get two of them we'll combine those together so copper solenoid we'll be able to make four of those and uh, we'll combine that i just need a furnace and some redstone i thought i had some spare furnaces around there were weird recipe because it's an expert mode block but expert mode pack even uh yep let's just dump those back in let's take a couple of redstone out and that's gonna be good do i have any furnaces i really thought i would have had some let's just double check uh, i usually get the odd colors when i do this with shaders but let's just highlight mode 
any spare furnaces. I normally rob them from villages whenever I see them. Especially in expert mode packs, but uh, it looks like I've not got any. Oh no, there's one. Ha! <laughs> Knew I'd rob them from a village somewhere. Uh, so alloy furnaces, upgrade, we're going to get the alloy furnace. I think that should work on RF power, um, if I remember rightly. There we go, and uh, setting up a storm. Now, hmm, this is the other thing, I think this may even not work with power, it may even need actual burnable fuel. I can never remember. I think nuclear craft requires it to be burnable fuel. Uh, no, uh, okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's going to take power just fine from my C2, and that's working. So redstone control, no, don't care about that. Uh, however, I do care about making electrical steel, which is just really rather simple. It's just steel of some kind, and um, I think silicon. So silicon is crushed nether quartz. And once you get crushed near the quartz, I think I've put some in the macerator or in the furnace. Yeah, I put it in the furnace. Once you get crushed nether quartz, I put it in the put nether quartz in the macerator, then put it in the furnace, and you end up with silicon. You just combine that with steel, and you'll get electrical steel. So that's the next step going there. I'll go and farm my steel. And in fact, I think I can just get away with well, I've got steel here, so I could use steel, but I think I can actually just make steel now because um, we have an alloy smelter, so I can just do something that's quicker than, and easier than before. So if I just get like three and get three coal, should you make it to steel? You do, uh, but it is two to one ratio. Okay. Uh, or is it, sorry, is it more? Yeah, two to one, two coal, one iron. Good. That makes steel. And then we can turn the steel with some silicon, equal numbers, into electrical steel. The electrical steel is going to be good because we are able to use that for a number of different purposes without getting to Ender I.O. I thought we we're going to need to get to Ender I.O., which is a later mod. Nope, we can get it before that point. We can use it for all kinds of stuff. In addition to that, for universal cable, we're going to also want redstone iron wiring, and this is going to be where we need a few bits and pieces we don't have yet. In particular, the wireless RF heating coil are only attainable from resonators. And the resonators we haven't built yet, but they're not terribly hard, I don't think. Steel plates, well, we're just able to make steel rather easily. Coal coke, and I think I've got some of that somewhere. Uh, machine block and a couple of uh, advanced circuits, so I should be able to craft one of those. However, the other thing uh, we're going to need is uh, an ori crystals over here. So we need to get iron put in front of our atomic uh, disassembler, uh, whatever it's called, and or re reassembler, and it will turn into an ori. So that's just iron ingots, basically. And an aluminium wire, which you can just make with, she with shears or cutters of some kind. Yeah, engineers wire cutters. Or we need a metal press if we were if we were that stuck for the resources. But I have some aluminium uh, plates in my inventory. And if I just grab a couple of pieces of iron, we can just cut that straight up. Oops, cut that straight up into, uh, oh, that why? Oh, that's iron, haha, <laughs> aluminium. Yeah, cutting iron plates with shears, it's a might bit hard. It might be a little bit tough. <laughs> just, just a thought, uh, yeah. Uh, however, this, not so much. So that's good. Uh, I'm just going to go and empty out my inventory and then we'll carry on with the rest. So to get our resonator up and running, we're going to need to just get some clay dust, some grout, which we've already made for Tinker's Construct, and that will make reinforced stone. The reinforced stone gets used up with uh, everything else, and we're just going to put them in there like this. Uh, put a machine casing in the center, and then what else? It's just for the machine block this. Uh, so polished stone, which just turns out to be probably just stone in a sort of two by two. And uh, let's just put this grout away somewhere. You can go away. I did just clean up my inventory, but I need so much stuff for this episode. I don't want to just put it away and then forget about it. So reinforced stone. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's stone bricks. Can I go put it through again? Polished stone. Extra utilities too. Good. So we'll use that along with everything else. That'll make us a machine block. Yeah, one machine block. We'll just be able to put more clay dust in the middle. Uh, it's not clay dust, actually. It's um, it's more machine casings. That's fine. So that's the machine block that's going to go at the top. So you need two advanced, uh, two advanced control circuits and a block of cold coke. And I should have everything now. This is the uh, recipe for the advanced control circuit. So we should be able to take those, and they can go right here. Okay. And the last one is just going to be 
block of cold coke. So let's just dump them here and let's get this cold coke into block form. There we go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, where's that cold coke gone? There it is. Uh, shift click does not seem to claim it. Why are you not? Why? 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 That's to have to be that specific kind of glass. That seems a little specific. <laughs> okay, uh, where's my chisel gone? Um, hopefully, I can actually make that with my chisel. Uh, glass, Chinese glass. Okay, but again, that's quite odd, but hey, it works. I suppose you can put this anywhere. It'll be powered by the GP provided by our water mills. So I can just drop it down here. And then this is going to be used to, well, it can be used to make an awful lot of stuff. You can see there's just some in here. Um, that lunar reactive dust will come in useful as will the upgrade bases. And you can obviously get red coal from coal, which is quite useful. We, however, are going to need this for wireless RF heating coils. And uh, we're going to get redstone glasses as well, I suppose. But for those, we're just going to get some uh, regular, regular iron bars and dump them in there. And they should start going. Yeah, so we don't even need to get the, uh, the sort of clockwork version of that going. However... Um, for the quest, we may need to do the clockwork version. Um, or unless we've already done it, which is possible. Um, RF tools, no, 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 nothing left to actually do there. So fine, I can ignore it. Nuclear craft. So for nuclear craft, we need the manufacturing. That's going to be uh, four lead, which we've already got. Another cup of solenoid. See, all this stuff is going to be really, really straightforward. Uh, in fact, I may have most of it already. Manufacturing, have I got that in here? Yes, I have. Uh, I've got almost nothing of it. <laughs> okay, I was close. I was close, honestly. Okay, let me just go and sort that one out as well. We'll unlock that. The other thing I can also do is now get rid of this blast furnace and electric heater. We don't need them. The compressor doesn't need to do anything with um, with universal fluid cells anymore because we can just make steel directly. And ignore those noises. I think there's something in Industrial Craft 2 that sticks the audio on, even though those are not actually doing anything right now. Okay, so I'm off to craft a few more bits off camera and uh, join me shortly. And here's our manufacturing. That's that done as well. This should unlock quest industrializing. Yup. That's certainly what we're aiming for anyway. Uh, excuse the noise. Manufacturing, there it goes. It's powered up. Good. All right, moving on. Uh, what do we actually get for that? Uh, we got some more for uh, advanced plating or loot chests. Huh. Um, remind me advanced plating. How hard is it to get that? Advanced plating. Tough alloy, that's going to be ferroboron, I imagine. Um, tough alloy is alloy of lithium and ferroboron. Ferroboron is, I might imagine, imagine as you might imagine, is iron and um, boron, well, steel and boron in this case, which uh, is going to be boron ingots, which presumably we can get from uh boron ore okay what does that actually generate does it generate in the overworld please say yes please say yes deep dark overworld it does generate in the overworld okay down at y equals 10. uh so yeah we can get ferro boron without going off world which is good how about lithium ore i think i may already have some lithium ore hopefully i have some um, we can get it from sieving, so that's good. Sieving, compressed nether gravel? Really? Nether gravel? Oh, nether rack. Crush nether rack. Okay, that's one option. Um, does it spawn in the overworld? Yes, it does. Okay, so both down at uh, 8 through eight through 12 or so. So we can go and get some of that, which means I'm just going to take a loot chest. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't care. I, I want my loot chest. Give, give, give. give. Loot chest. Claim. Loot chest. What's in loot chest? A bear trap. I want the advanced plating. I want, I want the advanced plates. Eight bear traps. That's no, that's no good. I'm sorry, bear traps? Uh, okay, fine. A machine case from uh, industrial foregoings. Reinforced stone. 
plastic and an advanced machine casing, which we can already make this stuff. I'm going to ignore that for now. I don't need it. At least not just yet. Pipes uh, would be cool. Uh, that's crossnet or xnet, however you want to pronounce that. That's lapis plates, and that seems to be remarkably easy to actually get. So maybe I'll do that off camera. Extreme reactors, we're not going there just yet, uh, because there's something else we want to get to. So over here in the carpenter, we're going to just take a recipe to get. I think it's uh, impregnated sticks this way. Uh, it's going to need some... It's going to need a bucket, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I need a bucket, and I'm just going to ladle in some olive oil. That should sort that out. Not aluminium, I need iron the bucket uh, i've already got another one full of <laughs> full of creosote uh hopefully i have some yeah and i can put it in there and that's making impregnated sticks or it should do once i take this casing out Got you in there for now and i only need uh four of these so um off you go do i can you make more please are you just out of power you are okay let's dump another piece of coal in there uh, we will be hooking that up to the rest of the system pretty soon, I would imagine, because Universal Cable should enable us to trans translate one to the other or rather easily. So there's four impregnated sticks. Uh, I'm going to take some of my these Inori crystal blocks that I made up and turn them into the crystals. And that should be everything I need, I think, for this uh, these, these coils. Yeah, that's going to let, let me get some coils, but I think what I'm just going to do is probably make more of these. So I'll just leave these as a pattern in here. Aluminium wire, we'll just do the same thing. We'll leave them as a pattern. And that just gets me one coil. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of aluminium plates. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, at some point I need to get more efficient with that. But uh, I have uh, some shears around somewhere and I will yeah, just cut up the rest of the plates, I guess. Somewhat annoyingly, these wireless RF key heating coils just don't stack. <laughs> but they also don't get used up, so I made too many. <laughs> or at least they don't seem to be used up. Nope, it just seems that we use them to create these wiring. So uh, I'm going to need to just make sure I just take these out. And uh, yeah, I've got two more blocks I can't store anywhere. Uh, I will get to that soon, I promise. Uh, so yeah, they can just sit there and not do anything, which means we can get redstone iron wiring and some electrical steel, and we should be able to get basic universal cable. Okay, 24 of it, to be specific. And hopefully this is going to let me skip on this LV transformer and basically not worry about explosions. <laughs> Shall we see if we get explosions? Uh, let, let's indeed see. So I just got my wrench. I've already disassembled the uh, the steel, the old steel. Uh, so we're just going to get the, uh, the ground pulled up here a little bit. And I'm just going to disconnect pretty much everything from, I don't know, maybe, maybe here on out. Let's just see whether everything connects. There we go. I guess I can do this with wrenches as well. Um, will you disconnect? Yep, yeah, you will. Okay, and will you? No, you won't. Okay, tried using a crescent hammer, which is much nicer. It doesn't have any durability loss, but you can't use crescent hammers to take apart IC2 machines. So, well, there we go. So, 24, you basically universal cable. Uh, will you actually transfer power from here? Let's take a look. Um, I need something in here to convert. Nope. Okay, so you're not going to work with the CESU, but what you may well do, that there will be any buffer here, but if I remove this, let's just get you out of the way. Okay, and let's get rid of all of you. Head over the top, and do the same thing on this side. We should, instead of having to go through IC2, just stay with RF and then have it convert into IC2 power. Uh, if we go this way, so basic universal cable, there we go, you can hear it working already, that's good. And put you back down. We can obviously add more solar panels, but they won't have much of a buffer, so we're going to need to add a buffer at some point. Uh, let's just make sure there are no explosions, however, so let's just uh, connect you. Oh, do you have power? Extractor, okay... Uh, I guess what I'm really going to go for is something like a macerator or an electric furnace. I'm going to end up tearing up all this cable, aren't I? And that noise is annoying. I'm going to turn the volume down. Uh, do I have anything I can actually cook up? Well, 
There's no explosions anyway, so that should be fine regardless. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the rest of the cable over here. I've got 10 cable left. That does mean I'll be able to move some of the machines from over here that need this cable and move them all the way over there. In particular, uh, the, uh, the thing I've got over the back here, the uh, <laughs> got it down here, the reconstructor, that's going to be able to take straight from our existing system. So rearrangement uh, going ahead. Now that's all tidied up and moved over, Carpenter and Squeezer, our mechanism, our industrial craft 2, uh, more mechanism, I suppose I should move that back over there, but I probably want more space for more infusers, and then our thermionic fabricator and atomic reconstructor, which is now, happily, uh, in the floor, which uh, makes it easier to actually activate. So, we've got some loot chests to actually use up because we've basically, uh, well, let me just get to sleep. Because we've done a bunch of quests basically in the background, so I went and go ahead and picked all of the, the rewards up. And let's see what we actually get for them. Uh, let me just dump some stuff just in a random chest, as I normally do. Let's just see what we get. So, loot chest. We get sweet potato pie. Okay, well, that's going straight in the fridge. Uh, you can yeah, eat, eat of you. It's fine. I don't mind food, especially in this pack. Uh, you don't need to give me all food, though. Protein and vegetable... Um, especially since they're not yet eaten. And because they're not yet eaten, it means they count towards getting more hearts, so that's even better. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, an observer, quite useful for automation. A dead bush, not terribly impressed, but I'm sure that might be used for something or other. Well, 64 dead bushes. Uh, diamond shield, don't care about. Uh, dislocator, that's very nice. That's very, very nice at this stage of the game. Uh, but that gets used up, so yeah. Hmm, what's the pedestals? Do we have pedestals? I mean, I have an ender book. It's not, it's not like I need this, but this doesn't need XP if I actually do this. Uh, well, that's the pedestals are easy to actually do. So we could basically have a portal out point from our base to other places. Uh, like, for example, the nether and stuff like that, uh, or a return to our home without having to use everything. It's more useful this stage of the game because we've got the ender book to get back to have a port out point, um, just so you don't use up any XP. But you can see I've got loads of XP, so yeah, I'm... I, yeah, okay, what else? Uh, signal and conversion kit. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. There's two of them. Fully upgrades a block to a given tier, so once we get to thermal foundation, we'll be able to uh, be able to upgrade machines very very high by comparison so that's pretty good uh thermal expansion we're not into yet uh advanced rocketry the same yeah and the bragging rights section is all the sort of the cosmos infinite armor or whatever whatever it normally is so uh yeah we've opened a few gates i think we're just going to go ahead and do this gate pipes because it's really quite kind of fast uh, we just need one gold plate and lapis lazuli plates, uh, which we just need some lapis. Uh, we just need to macerate that and then break it down. And then we can, ca well, basically cast it into plates with the furnace. Oh, I had one more loot chest. I dropped on the floor because my inventory was full. Uh, cow in a jar. I don't mind having another cow in a jar. I don't mind that at all. Uh, in fact, can I just eat you? Um, can I put this anywhere? Um... I want to knock that block out. We'll put it there for now. Uh, another counter jar can generate more milk for us. Generate yogurt and basically stuff like that. So we don't need to worry about it. Anyway, so from here, I'm going to dump some of the stuff I don't need. And then I want to start thinking about actually getting rid of all these chests and moving to another system. Of course, um, that would normally be applied in logistics. And that's very tempting to go for straight away. Applied logistics in this pack needs machine cases, which is straightforward. It's advanced machine casings, some rubber and some reinforced stone. We know where I have most of that. Energy acceptors is going to need a bit of extra stuff we don't have yet. Um, that's Constantin, but Constantin isn't hard. It's like copper and something else. <laughs> uh, nickel, yes. Couldn't remember what it was for a second. Copper and nickel, so that is not too hard. Vacuum tubes, however, and the game crashed. And when the game came back up, it hadn't saved a few things, so I need to go back and through and created it. But now I've gone through and created an energy cube. That should help us. It's back here. It it didn't it didn't use anything we didn't hadn't already done before. Uh, energy cube um, over here. I've already created it. So a couple of energy tablets. This is just gold and enriched alloy. 
and in a steel casing. And once you have one of them, you can upgrade it, which is what I've done to the next tier with a bit more osmium and some more energy tablets, and up it goes. And you keep on go going like that if you wanted to. Go up to Elite Energy Cube. I'm not going to go that far, but I think I have all the stuff I need to actually do that. In which case, you can just configure this uh, with a side config. So the right-hand side is input from the solar panels. Backside is output, and then it acts as a battery for the rest of our system. You can see that's actually gaining. So, yeah, everything there is working fine, and everything out here is cleaned up, nice and uh, ready to go on pretty much everything we actually want to do. So, yeah, very happy so far. Uh, let's just get some more osmium produced. There we go. And I think we're almost ready to head into the next episode where we're going to be looking at either magic or storage. Uh, ME controller... <sighs> I'm needing to actually get to ME because uh, I'm just starting to gain more. Expert mode packs are always like this. You end up with so much inventory, and it's just miscellaneous inventory as well. It's not like, uh, well, <laughs> we're about to get less miscellaneous once we get sieves up and automated, but for the for the most part, because of all the loot chests and all the random stuff you actually need, it just builds up in a lot of chests. So we actually want ME controllers. That's going to need a few steps. Elite control circuits are not terribly hard. They're just more mechanism. Um, bioplastic is uh, just sugarcane in our manufactory. That's going to be straightforward. Circuit boards, we need to get to an engineer's workbench, which I don't have at the moment. But uh, this is, again, mostly straightforward recipes. Vacuum tubes, we don't have yet. But um, that, again, is still more engineer's workbench stuff. And then a copper coil, we've already made those before. Um, they are a bit, a bit, uh, uh, a bit over the top on copper, if I remember rightly. Uh, copper wire, yeah. So that's four copper ingots. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, thirty-two copper ingots. So sixty-four copper, a full stack of copper for those two, and uh, you get a control circuit board. Uh, the rest is straightforward. There, it's just a machine case, which is straightforward uh, reinforced stone and machine casing, etc. So it's really just um, uh, you need an ender pearl, and you need fluix or fluix crystals. In particular, you need uh, yeah, just regular fluix crystals. Unless this has changed, no. We may need a charger to get some charge surface quartz. Unless you find it out in the world. But other than that, that's sorted. So, yeah, we can do all of this. That's Constantin. And get an ME controller. Uh, let's take a look at, however, what is it like for disk drive? Uh, when we drives, uh, what are they? Are they bad? Are they worse? Ionize some casings, ionize some casings. Disk drive from open computers, which is simple. Printed circuit boards, which is also simple. So that's going to be straightforward to get a drive. Uh, how about the terminals? Are the terminals terrible? Because once you get to those, you can start crafting stuff. Terminals are the standard recipe. So in that case, uh, do we have advanced inscribers? Advanced inscribers. We do. That's good. <laughs> It's very, very good. And then processors. One of these, I'm sure one of these is going to be changed with like a, a, some, a non-standard recipe, but those all look standard. Uh, they all look... Well, that's not actually quite standard. No. Uh, inscriber. Reinforced stone. So, it's not standard, but we can actually make it. So, yeah, we can get this into, uh, into um, applied energy sticks pretty quickly, which will get rid of all these chests, which I will like a lot more. Because if we're going to move base, and we are going to move, be moving base fairly soon, because this, this place is going to be sort of too trivial for us to, to stay in, uh, we're going to move out over onto, I think, uh, over here, new home. Lots and lots of space. To the, to the horizon and a pyramid. So I think I'm going to move over here and uh, sort of base everything around this pyramid or something along those kind of lines. And we'll see, we'll see how well it actually does. What do you guys think? Any thoughts? As always, um, put them down below, along with everything else about the episode. If you've seen anything I've done wrong, feel free to put cor collection, uh, corrections in place in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next episode for some more Enigmatica Expert Mode. Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode, in fact. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you can do. Down at the bottom, click on the bell for notifications as normal, and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.